randomized. So I don't know what we threw, what will fly, what will fly in, what will fly out. So I hope it will be funny. At least this will have. So we start with who am I? I think most of you know me. <laughs> um, my name is Dr. Cohen. I'm from Israel. I'm an open source evangelist. I'm former open source members. Uh, I love open source. I contribute to open source since to 2005. I started with Linux. Then I in 2008, I got to know Joomla. 2010. I finished my work with Juma, but I started to contribute to the community in Israel, worldwide. 2012, I joined the OSM. Two months ago, I quit from OSM. Today, I'm an entrepreneur. I have two startups. One of them is running. One of them is beta. The first one is build one, the one that I'm going to talk today. The second is Merchico, that is e-commerce. I will not talk today. It's also related to Joomla, but maybe next job. So let's start. So what is Bill One? Bill One is billing system. Who knows what is billing system? Yeah, you know. Billing system is really in one sentence we can say that system that process high volume events and rate them, make them invoice and then report. I just take a whole picture of all the life cycle of system in telecommunication. This part only is billing system. I will tell you later why I took all the picture, because it's enterprise. You can build only one thing. We, d we don't have attention to other system in the enterprise. Next. Sorry that I'm looking back, because it doesn't sync with my computer, so I need to look back. Again, what is billing system? It sounds really complica complica complicated, but we have to make it simple. This is much more simple. We set up, receive and process is take the data, calculate its weight and identify the user, the, the customer. Aggregate is the part that we take and make invoice. We need to aggregate per month, per week, depend which country is it and generate invoices and reports. The final is to charge, in, like you know, like PayPal, but for millions of customers, it's a little bit complicated. So this is how simple we see it against this one that is look really messy. So, uh, sorry for that. Next, the one that is, the, the previous slide you see that it look very simple, but the biggest challenge is the high volume. So it could be 1,000 and 10,000 events per second. If you have company with 1 million customer, it can be 20,000 events per second. Because when, you, you, when your phone uses data, you get CDR. CDR is the event data. Each two minutes or each 10 minutes, it depends how, how you use. Even you're on Wi-Fi, your phone is on Wi-Fi, you're using 3 3G data unless you disable it. So in night, it can be generate one hour. I thought you're in how you're, you are in your house. So you have event each hour for million customers. So it's a lot of events, even at night. So this picture is a good one. I like it. And big data, we use, we, we, you, we, we <coughs> sorry, we use MongoDB. Uh, I'm going to speak in MongoDB World Conference next month. So it's June already, so it's at the end of this month. I will not say a lot about MongoDB. It's really easy to scale. We use MongoDB because of the velocity, the volume, and versatile. Because when you send SMS, the record you have is different, different structure from data event. It's two different types of events and two different types of structure. It means that if you have properties in one event, you have completely other properties in other event. So in MongoDB, you can put all of them in one table. It's not table, it's called collection. And then you can easily to aggregate. The velocity is that, that we can add more shards. It's called shard, it's partitioned. 
when you take big table, like, like said, two billion events, and make a part of it. So we can add easily part, and Mongo will scale and balancing ev ev uh, evenly all the data. So this is shortly about Mongo. This is nice challenges that we have. Next, the, bi the big question is why I'm here. So <laughs> after talking about billing, is my love to Joomla and why <laughs> what I took from Joomla to billing system. So let's go for it. So first of all, this is a really Rolls Royce engine. Joomla have, as I can see it, Rolls Royce engine. So we used a lot of this engine in the billing. And I go of the rules and design patterns. Who is here a developer? I know that Radek and you. So it's gonna be a little bit development, little bit not. So let's go. First of all, this is in short Joomla. Uh, structure, everybody know MVC, but uh, there is a lot inside that is not MVC, it's much more complicated, but it's built really simple. This is the reason you don't see it, but it's really, you can do a lot of it. So first of all, the keys, you, everybody know what is keys, keep it simple, smarty. The first photo I show, oh, sorry for that, it's not this keys, sorry for that. <laughs> This is the kiss. Um, this is Albert Einstein quote. Everything should be made as simple as possible, but no simpler. It's a nice one. So let's go for design patterns a little bit. Observer is the plugin system. We you, you took the same design pattern we took, the PHP code from Joomla and copy it, but we needed to make it faster, so we just use PHP core observer, but it's the same dispatcher. You can see, you don't see J factory dis dispatcher, you see build one factory dispatcher. This is the plugin system, this is how it works. It's a schema that show you when subject, when the core dispatch event, you can, few plugins can handle it. The one different that from our dispatcher is that we use chain of responsibility, that one of them can stop the whole scenario. It means that if we have a line and we want to know if it's rateable, we can dispatch for few plugins and one of them can decide don't rate them. It gives us much more power. Um, let's go to another one. Okay, MVC. Okay, we use YAF framework. Uh, YAF framework is the most fastest framework in the world for PHP. It's up to 10 faster than any other one because it's compiled and it uses MVC. The, the one of the reasons we, we use it is because it's MVC and it's faster. This is main two the features. Next is the bridge, this is the one I really like. In the build and the billing, we use most of it PHP command line. We don't have you user interface to wait because it's automatic. Uh, we move it to front, front tab, schedule task, and we use bridge to unify the behavior of each step that you see in the beginning. Each receive and process behave the same, get the same input, but make another another output. This is a bridge, this bridge that Ryan Ozimek took me in San Francisco, the Golden Bridge, yes, and uh, it's make easy to lose couple. You can make each part of the, of the software, make it uh, separated, and make it close coupling. This is how factory and singleton, when you get to the database in Joomla, you get DBO call. So this is a bridge to the database. You can do everything. You can connect to SQL Server and MySQL in the same way. There is no difference to who built on top of it. So this is the bridge. The third is bootstrap. Yes, we, we have simple we admin UI in the billing. It's much more simpler than Joomla. We didn't use Joomla interface, but use Bootstrap because I heard about Bootstrap from Joomla. <laughs> so we just migrated to, to Bootstrap 3. It was pretty easy. I don't know how much easy it would be in Joomla <laughs> because a lot of templates and website built on, on top of it, but Bootstrap is really easy to build uh, responsive. 
of thought, our clients doesn't need it responsive because if someone need to update billing and for enterprise, it, it doesn't need to do it with tablet, but we just love it so we use it because it's easy and fun. This is part and we know it already because we used Joomla in the, in the past. Next, what else did I take? We take, sorry. What else did you take? Okay. The first of all, it's completely open source billing system. Uh, we are in the, the billing system, we put it in the telecommunication field and there is no, there is few billing system that built on an open source te technology. It's one of our advantages because it's a feature that I will introduce later. A GPL license like Joomla, we take the same license line code from Joomla and copy it to the build one code. It's really easy. Copy paste, we like it. <laughs> so the first of all, uh, as I said, it's business advantage because there we have less competitors. It's much more easier to take codes from different projects, not just Joomla, to take from take Zen framework class that we need. For example, take some UI that we need that is MIT because it's compatible with GPL. We can make it fast development and we'd be time to market is really fast. So this is a business advantage. We like this image because this is one of the image that I introduced to potential clients when I ask why open source. Love of Joomla, love of open source, love of people. This is one of the reasons I'm still here. I'm not using Joomla, but I love to come and be here. It's like fun. And I, I meet friends, share with them. They share with me. I think I talked about this uh, software with few people and they give me feedback, like Robert, that we compare it to the framework to other frameworks and we can talk. I thought we have different fields the share and make it bigger because when I come to people in the industry of telecom, they told me you are naive, you give it for free and after telling you, you don't know, you, you will know when it comes to be bigger because it's really easy, it's really viral, viral when it's open source and I believe that it, it's easy to make it bigger and much more important. Next. This is the last one because we're talking with about enterprise. That I'm. This is it's one of the jokes that I put on the board. Why Joomla? So I said it's have it's the cheapest uh, CMS ever. <laughs> so low TCO. TCO is from the enterprise. It's total cost of ownership. Is how much money it costs for the company to pay for the system. So it's really low TCO. It's advantage. Um, you should know that. If we count uh, all how many powers of that invest in Joomla, it can become to millions, but we spread it for free. This is the adventure. advantage of it. The, the same goes to other systems like this one. Oh, this is a bug in the randomize of. <laughs> so enterprise, what to pay attention? This is few, few, no few notes that when I came from the web, to the enterprise, this is why, what I, and this is my advice, what to put your attention on. So first of all, you have few systems to integrate to, because if the billing system, she talked with, I think five or six other systems, most, uh, most of them are engineering, so there is no refresh button for the customer, because if the customer is registered to the service, he can check his phone to see if he's, if he's on and see it's off, he can refresh it. So most of it need to be queue. All the system talk side by side by queue. One of the things is Rosh Gadol, it's Hebrew word. It's in simple translation is big head, but the meaning is think beyond your boundaries. If you build system, building system inside some corporate or enterprise, you should know you should even to be you should be responsible for the next step because for example if the billing system need to trigger event when some user get to 6 gig gigabyte of usage and sh and you need to block it you need to verify that the user is blocked and send alert if he's not blocked although you just need to trigger the event 
Okay, next. Let's, oh, that's, I think, oh, this is, the randomized effects was wrong, so. This is the enterprise, and this is what I lacked at the, at the right. So the technology, the application and data are just at the bottom of it. The more important is business, because when you come to enterprise, they only think about business. They, they don't care that it's open source. They want to know that it's work. So this is a uh, very good triangle, because MongoDB, PHP, and all those world buzzwords, the business and the C-level, C-level is the CEO, CIO, they don't care that it's open source. They want, that, they want to know that it's work. So this is very good triangle. Next. Who come from web, another few notes. As I said, process are ans async. Means, as I said before, if user just get new uh, SIM card, put it on, you should take care and be responsible that everything work okay. And when system talks one with other, like the billing, it's talk with CRM, you, you know that you can't talk directly with the, C the other system. Why? Because in enterprise, there was a lot of teams. The billing team can move down the system or the CRM system can move down the CRM and it doesn't update the other team. So everything go by queue. The previous uh, session was about syncing and stuff like this. So in most enterprise I met, there is no session between system directly. It's go. Uh, each call to other system call via and uh, through uh, queue me messaging. Everything should be transactional. Again, the user cannot refresh something like engineering that some antenna need to be on, the user can refresh it. So if you, something you, you send event to other system and something wrong, you should roll back in your side. And another system, as I said, Q, this is a Q example. Just two words about it. If this is the CRM and she want to send the message to the billing here, it doesn't send it directly because the billing system can be down. Okay, you send it to the queue, message broker, and it's responsible to the other side to get it. And another thing, this is the website, it being by Joomla, this is another relation with it. And this is the thank you. One more note uh, before I get a question. Uh, people always send me how much is bigger, so, we get currently, I think, four billion events in uh, five, five months. So this is how big is it. So thank you. And this is, I'm going to be in MongoDB world, so if you are in New York, there is a coupon that they gave me. Thank you. You have any question? I'm on time, yes? Why is I have this answer in Rector Active. I mean, it means that I just one week ago, uh, someone made comparison between Zen Framework 1, Zen Framework 2, and Joomla Framework. And Joomla Framework is, I think, multiplied, multiplied by two um, uh, slower. And Zen, fr Zen Framework 2 is slower than Zen Framework 1. So <laughs> it's funny, yes. But NDF is up to 20 faster. Because it's speckled, if you know what is speckled. More questions? Thank you.